Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I am Judith and today we're going to Greece. We're going to make some Greek meatballs. And I would try to pronounce it, but I'll probably mess it right up. Uh, let me give it let me give it a go. Kefkadakis. So first thing is some finely minced onion. We are going to put that in the pan with some olive oil and saute it just till translucent. So while the onions saute, we want to tear up some bread into a bowl. Some nice homemade bread if you have it available, or home style bread if you can buy that at your bakery, local bakery. You want like two slices. I have two very generous slices here. Now I generally leave the crust on, and you could remove it if you like, but it is going to soften because we are going to soak it. I have some star anise flavoring and I'm going to put a little bit of that in the measuring cup and add some water, half a cup, and we're going to pour that over the bread. Now traditionally it is actually ouzo that is used. Um, I went to the liquor store today and the only thing I didn't buy was ouzo. All right, now that our onions have sauteed and our bread has soaked for about five minutes, we are going to squeeze out the liquid from the bread. And put the bread in the bowl with the onions. So there we have the onions and the soaked bread. I'm going to add two cloves chopped garlic. And I have a tablespoon and a half of crushed dried mint and two teaspoons of dried oregano. Mix that in there. And I have to add now 600 grams of ground lean beef. You could use lamb if you wanted to, but with all the other flavorings, I think the flavor of the lamb kind of gets lost pepper. Okay, so good grind of pepper in there. And salt. About a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to mix it. But we've got it started. We're going to add one whole egg. Now you want to keep mixing this until it goes velvety and soft and smooth. Um, you could use a wooden spoon. Nice and soft and wonderful. And it's always fun to get your hands in there. Presuming you've washed them first, of course. And you notice the change in the texture as you mix. It's becoming almost a paste, almost a pâté. Which means we're probably pretty much done mixing. Now what we're going to do is form it into our meatballs. And there's a couple of options. You can do the round meatball or you can do a torpedo shape or a spindle shape. I tend to go with the spindle shape. You need to wet your hands so that the meat doesn't stick to you. And get yourself a good portion of the meat and roll it into. Now like I said, you could do meatball shape round meatballies or I like to do the spindle or torpedo shape. And then you're going to roll them in the flour and put them on a plate. 
Once we're done here, we are going to, there is our plate of meatballs, all ready to go into the fridge. And out of 600 grams of ground beef, we've got 15 meatballs. Now they're not uniform in size. You could get more, and if you did them as round balls, you would definitely get more. Meatballs have been in the fridge for over an hour. So we've warmed up a pan on the stove and put in it's about five tablespoons of olive oil. Now you can cook these several different ways. You can do them as I am on the stove in olive oil. You could bake them in the oven on a pan, or you can deep fry them. I prefer to do them on the stove. So we're just going to put them in one at a time, gently into the oil. You don't want to crowd the pan because you do want them to get nice and brown. So it's handy to have something to wipe your hands off with because picking them up and you don't want to try to rush them. You want to give them enough time to cook through and get nice and crispy on the outside. Cook properly. They are wonderful, crispy on the outside and soft and luscious and so flavorful on the inside. So it won't be much longer and we will be having dinner. And there's our Greek meatballs, our kefkedakis. And if I pronounced it wrong, I am very sorry. With Greek potatoes and some nice steamed vegetables. They do keep well, as I said. You can keep them leftovers in the fridge for lunch or snacks or even freeze them. So if you liked the recipe and enjoyed the video, please give it a like, make a comment, and subscribe. We will be back again soon with another video. Thank you so much.